Uh, 60 years ago uh, this weekend, the country was torn apart uh, over the assassination of uh, President Kennedy. And all of a sudden, uh, Lyndon Johnson was the president of the United States and Lee Harvey Oswald was eventually murdered. And uh, on and on and on this goes. Uh, Ray, you have studied this at great length, so I'll ask you point blank. Who murdered John Fitzgerald Kennedy? The evidence is very clear that the CIA masterminded the whole thing. There were people co-opted from the Secret Service, people from the military. There were people involved in this plot that have not yet been revealed, but the evidence is crystal clear that Alan Dulles, former CIA director, orchestrated this thing and then insinuated himself onto the Warren Commission, ran the Warren Commission, and came up with that cockamamie idea that was just one bullet and was fired by Oswald's rifle. We're getting to the bottom of it now. And the question is, uh, is today's CIA much different from those guys? And unfortunately, it isn't, in my view. It should be abolished. There should be some independent analytical group uh, set apart where they could tell the president what the, what's up. And if you want to overthrow governments and do other dastardly stuff, well, put them in the Pentagon where they belong. But the days of this bifurcated analysis and operations agency, a, a historic fault in terms of uh, uh, of uh, the two sides never being able to be in the same agency. Those are over, and we should recognize this 60th anniversary and the terrible consequences of what happened. Larry, uh, think about that. Larry, do you and do modern day agents, officers, and analysts generally agree with Ray McGovern with what our friend Ray just said? Well, I'm not sure a lot of analysts would necessarily agree with Ray. I agree with Ray. 